alright? So I'm going to just do a basic while loop and show you guys how it works because a while loop is extremely easy. So let's put in I count. Let's let's make that or yeah, let let's make it zero. And then we change I to I num. And we change I num to one. So we have all done the for loop by now. For I becomes zero to here and I hope you guys understand how it works. I really do. So for i becomes zero to whatever number. Now we can rewrite this in our own way. So we can go while i num is less or equal to. Let's let's just make to give us reference. Let's make this fifteen. If i num is less or equal to fifteen, or while i num is less or equal to fifteen, begin and end. So basically what we're saying here is i becomes 1 to 15 and here we say while i num is less or equal to 15 do. Now the main difference between these two, let's create an i so we can get rid of the error, between these two pieces of code is this one increments its num, its i automatically. For example you don't have to go inc uh, you don't have to do that because it's it does it automatically but in the while loop you have to tell it to increment so yeah now you might be thinking now why in which world would you want this would you want a while loop now with a for loop once it gets to the end it does increment so it will go for everything and it will increment no matter what. But with a while loop you can put in more conditions. It's more conditional. So if it doesn't meet this, run the loop again. So it's kind of like that. With this one, if it doesn't do this, just continue and increment it automatically. Kind of something like that. So you can go if um, I count is less or equal to less or equal to 10 again this is a, ter a terrible um, example just saying I just want to throw it out there because I use this a, a lot in my game I could maybe wonder through the code I used in my game and I can show you guys what happened there so basically if, if it is like this then this will increment but usually it would be smart to add an else statement or in case it doesn't do this because this loop will run forever. This can turn into an infinite loop, which is not something you want. But basically everything you do with the while loop, you can do with the for loop. And the for loop is, in a sense, more secure. But also with a while loop, you can also do this. While is string, string, for example is ah is not equal to weave okay let's just do that if a string is not equal to weave run this or while it's not equal to it so run it and once it is weave end the piece of code this is not something you can really do a for loop you probably can in some way but it will be a lot harder because a while loop is just so much easier it's also like once we get to text files and stuff and databases and all that you can also go while not end of file and then put in your file name there and stuff like that or database name and put in the code here so it does also help to like get to the end of a file like let's say we have a text file and there's a bunch of lines like let's say that's 100 lines so you say while it is not the end of that file while the cursor is still is not at the very bottom of that file run the code and execute whatever what is in what is in here now, of course you can do it in here because not because but it will be a lot harder to do and it might actually have be more prone to bugs and in the future once you update that file or database this is really not a very efficient way to do it yeah you can probably in some way program like link or something but uh, or maybe 
to end a file, I don't know, but I say use a while loop in cases like that. So yeah, so let's go while inum is less or equal to 10 ink inum. Now it does matter where this ink inum is. If we're going to put it at the beginning, it's going to increment it at the beginning. If we put it at the end, it's going to increment it at the end. So you should plan where you're going to put this. Usually you put it at the end and you can just go Um, is this equal to nine? Nine. See, and then begin. And that's all for now. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.